Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to Task Force Admiral. I've been given a special early look at the current state of the game. This is how far the devs have currently come. In case this is your first time looking at Task Force Admiral, it's a game taking place in 1942. You're in command of the Task Force of the Enterprise. It's Task Force 16. She's not alone. Over her starboard side, you can see the Hornet in the back. And of course, these aircraft carriers are rarely sent out alone, uh, if ever. And if they are alone, then something has generally gone horribly wrong. They got a lot of escorts around, and these escorts are making sure that no other ships can close the distance to the carrier. And the same goes for enemy aircraft. Now, this is a scenario where I can observe the action, but the game is not in such a playable state where I can actually issue orders myself. So we can admire the views, we can admire the action, but what we cannot do is actually interfere with said action. Now, the game is being developed by a small studio, a small team, they're working very hard at the game, and they're expecting to launch a Kickstarter late fall or early winter to get a whole lot more polish in the game, such as potential three crew members, animated victory screens, and extra game modes. Let's see what the game currently is all about. Now I'm currently looking at it in the world viewer and this is where we can see not only the ship but also the ship list. So we got CV-6, the Enterprise, CV-8, the Hornet, we got a couple of destroyers. This is the Hughes. Um, currently the game, as I said, not playable as such. Ideally, at a later stage, it's going to be possible to take direct control of a ship or plane or even so much as just one anti-aircraft mount aboard a ship. That's going to make the game um, very, very, very interesting because it takes me back to the old days of Battle Stations Midway, where you could command the carrier, you could tell the strike to go somewhere, and you could also take direct control of, for example, one attacking aircraft. Now, we also have a couple cruisers, uh, the New Orleans, Astoria, Minneapolis, and San Francisco, and then a whole bunch more destroyers. The enemy is the Shokaku. The Shokaku, not alone out there. She's accompanied by Zuikaku. Now, this is no particular historical battle that you're looking at. It is a de demonstration, a scenario that shows you what the game is currently capable of. She is also joined by the Miyoko and the Haguro. Miyoko is still with that really... Well, I mean, still. <laughs> of course it's going to have that. Um, it's going to have that really interesting turret setup with uh, a turret, basically, is it an ABC, but the C is looking backwards at the bridge. Um, it's an interesting way of having your ship oriented. We have the destroyer Asashio, we have the Oshio and the Arashio, as well as the Asagumo. So there is a substantial amount of Chinese, Chinese, Japanese and American ships about. I'm not sure why I said Chinese. Now, of course, there's a bunch more happening than just this, because these battle groups are going at each other. If we go to the strategic map, you can see what I'm talking about. The Enterprise has already detected Shokaku and Zuikaku and has sent out two strike packages. One of 39 aircraft and one of 48. These are going to be attacking the enemy aircraft carriers. The Japanese are already vectoring a couple of aircraft to counter-attack. So these are going to be fighters. They got six there, they got another six there, and they're probably launching another wave of more combat air patrol. They try and keep their aircraft carriers safe. On my side, the situation is uh, just fairly similar. I'm going to pause it for a second. We got 58 incoming Japanese aircraft. We have five aircraft on intercept. We have another two patrolling and another two patrolling over there. There is another group joining. And we should still have some time to launch additional aircraft, but as I said, that's not something I have direct control over. So, let's have a look at the aircraft over there. Um, I need to do this via a somewhat unelegant viewer system. And unfortunately right now, this is the only way to go about it. So, I don't exactly know uh, who's doing what. Yeah, there we go. It's this group. Here we are. We have one of the aircraft conducting a uh, counter-attack against the enemy air wing. Let's see how this plays out. They got a multitude of targets. They're going to be very, very, very busy. 
And if they cannot stop everything, then it's going to be down to the uh, anti-air weapons that we have on the cruisers, the destroyers and the carriers themselves to try and keep themselves safe. Now just the, the graphics detail on this game is stunning. I love the looks of this thing. I mean, supposedly this is um, an early view. I'm not sure how the game is going to look eventually. I was not able to update slash change a whole lot about the graphics settings because it's just a demo. That's all coming later. So it's possible that the game, the final game, is going to look even better. Now it does look like our, <laughs> our little fighter here is having some issues. And is not doing a whole lot to try and counteract that issue. I'm not sure why. It does seem to try and gain a whole lot of altitude. Potentially to go on a dive. I'm not so sure. Yeah, here we go. We're coming around. You can see that there is more action going on underneath the aircraft. This is going to turn into... Well, not one big dogfight. But a whole bunch of separate one-on-ones or two-on-ones. Uh, let's see. This is... Here we go. There's another one. We switch to squad. Oh, we got a couple casualties here. Let's go to five. Yep, this guy has good line of sight on everybody. Fighters coming around for another pass. Good lord, just look at the the mass of aircraft. I, for one, find it hard to imagine what it must have been like being inside one of these planes and just looking at this formation, going, "Holy shit, we're gonna take that down." We're going to take as many of them down as possible. And then you try and look around and you see potentially one or several zeros coming at you. You see some aircraft going down. You might not even be able to tell if it's a friendly or a hostile. You've got to focus on your own job. You've got to focus on taking down these guys before you no longer have a platform to land on. Here we go. Small bursts. Accurate. Going down. Immediately turns around before it gets knocked out of the sky by the tail gunners of some of those aircraft. And, well, that's just a few of them. So how many do they still have? Uh, they did... Wow, they knocked out a whole bunch. They knocked out 25 of them, because there were 59. There's only 34 of them left. That does not mean that these guys are not potentially going to break through. We do have a couple of aircraft. There was, yeah, there's one, two, and two. Um, and there is a patrol of these fighters around, which is going to make my counter-air patrol a lot more difficult. But they seem to be losing fighters all by themselves as well. As for the strike package originating from the blue team, um, we are still 33 for 48. Let's have a look here. How is the situation evolving here? This is our... Uh, ooh. Yeah, our torpedo bombers are not having a great day. Tail gunner working very, very hard. To try and keep some of those enemy units off of us. Uh-oh, look at that zero come in. I'm almost thinking you can use this thing in a movie. Just the way that the, the, the units look. Come on, get him. Looks like we're scaring him off a bit. Is it enough? I rather doubt it. I rather doubt it. Here he comes again. Coming around for another pass. There's another one going for the other group of three there. Hill gunner going at it. Everybody's having their own little war by the looks of it. Um, how many aircraft do we still have? We've got eight. Six and three. Another eight coming in. But that's the counter air patrol. Uh, as for the strike package that was heading towards the Enterprise, there is still 32 of these guys left. So probably sooner rather than later... We're going to see the Enterprise and her escorts open up. Because it's about to get hectic. I can't actually see them yet. Uh, let's see. Strategic map. The Enterprise is sailing southwest. So they're going to be coming in on our starboard side. 
unknown range. It's uh, we're still quite a ways out. We're ten clicks out. Nevertheless, we should start seeing some action here pretty soon. Enterprise turning starboard, and of course the rest of the formation turns with her. Again, everything is under AI control. I don't have a whole lot of control over this. Just to show you what we have. As this is happening, as we're waiting for the strike to come in, I can show you the uh, board of the aircraft that we have. We have a fully operational hangar, we have a floor capacity of 50, and another storage of 20. You can even see a deck timeline. Uh, an aircraft has been recovered. That was a combat air patrol. We have a couple of missions going on. There is a few missions that are going towards an as of yet unselected target. And uh, the Combat Air Patrol of 6 is en route. Well, basically everybody is en route. The squadron that we have is VF-6. That's the fighters that we have out there. As for stores, I'm not sure if this is entirely operational yet. Because I would imagine that there's going to be a bit more info out here. The Enterprise has just opened fire. That is her biggest caliber guns with the, bu the, the biggest range. Engaging the enemy aircraft. And just look at the swarm. We can actually have a look at what the perspective is going to be like from the, uh, yeah, here. Give me a flying unit. Here we go. This is what the Japanese planes are seeing. They're seeing a lot of flak being thrown up. And they see all sorts of small and big trails in the water. Now some of them are seemingly getting dissuaded or picking out a target. And they don't seem to be overhead anything, so I guess they're still trying to go on the offensive. Don't worry, they will. What other units can we view? We have squadrons, Shuikaku, or maybe it's the Zuikaku's uh, attack group here. It's D3A1s. This is the Zeros. Yeah, we've got a couple of Kates here. Oh, this Kate's going for it. Her and her friends. Looking to make an attack against what I suspect is the Hornet, based on her paint scheme. And she's dropping. Torpedo in the water. He immediately tries and get the hell out of here. Look at how low these guys are flying. The Hornet shoots back with everything she's got. Flak everywhere. Let's go to the Hornet. The Hornet has seen the torpedoes and is desperately trying to change direction. You can see the torpedo trails over her starboard beam. There's five, six torpedoes coming at her. At this rate, she might be able to dodge most of them. But it's the, the rightmost, the, the three rightmost torps that have me concerned. Well, she might be able to dodge another. I'm not sure why her guns have suddenly fallen silent. Oh, never mind. They haven't. They have not. Uh oh, two impacts, brace, boom, and the other one, the other one must have passed just underneath the hull, or it was a dud, yeah that's some uh, substantial damage here to the Hornet, let's have a look, uh, what view was that again, it was... Few systems. No, few armor status. Yeah, I think this is one of those mechanics that's just not fully implemented yet. Normally, in the full game, you should be able to see what the situation with the aircraft carrier is like. Right now, um, I can tell you that she's been hit. I can't exactly tell you how badly she's been hit, what the damage has been like, and uh, whether this aircraft carrier is going to be operational or even salvageable. For now, we just don't know enough. Now, let's have a look again at the Enterprise Strike Package, or rather the Blue Strike Package. Uh, where are they at? Here. They are already at it. We got 16 aircraft, 31 aircraft. Uh, view, focus, squadrons. That's a lot of dead torpedo bombers. They have been very, very, very effective at murdering all of these torpedo bombers. There is one alive and that seems to be going home. We're going to figure out another guy. Uh, SPD-3s. Alright, let's have a look at you then. 
What's your plan? You still seem to be carrying a couple bombs. I can see one, two aircraft carriers down. There's one over there, and the other one's over there. I wonder if these guys are going to go for that particular target. Let's speed it up a little. And what's very impressive is um, this game remains stable at 10 times speed in a battle where you're simulating all of these units, all of these aircraft, all of these mechanics at the same time. And it still has a 10 times speed. That's very impressive. Oh, it looks like one of the carriers is coming under a lot of dive bombing strikes. A few near misses there. Maybe this aircraft is just like awaiting its turn with its own flight. Speed things up, see what it does. This is one of those situations where I would love to take control over it. Are we going for it? Yeah, we're going for it. Air brakes. And now you're... <laughs> Imagine being the, the, the gunner on the back. Who currently still does not have a weapon, but that's fine. And all you see is sky. Yeah, you're almost being pulled out of your seat. Here we go. Bombs away. Missed. Damn it. Oh, that was a hit. One of the other flights did, get, did manage to get a hit. Who are you? Are you Shokaku? Yeah, Shokaku's been hit. Shokaku's burning pretty bad. I bet she'll not be able to launch any aircraft at this point. That is going to be a lot of damage. Um, I can see that her aircrafts are still... Sorry, that's the, the Enterprise. Oh, I cannot see it for the Japanese side. Okay, makes sense. This guy has been pretty badly hit. Now, let's go back to Hornet. Hornet has also been hit, apparently, again. Because she was flooding. Or at least she ate two torpedoes. And now she has a couple of fires to worry about. The aircraft elevators supposedly are still operational. But, like I said, I'm not sure if this is actually the case. Oh, man. I can't wait to play this. I am very, very, very much looking forward to playing Task Force Admiral. Now, if you want to have a look at the game on Steam, by all means, click the link down below in the description. Uh, please don't go through it to, or don't go to Steam and look for it there, because we're trying to track how many people actually click the link that I have. So uh, the devs are going to know that you guys came through me, which indirectly helps out the channel. So click the link down below to have a look at Task Force Admiral. It's not a sponsored video, by the way. Uh, I'm very eagerly awaiting this game. It is another naval game. And we seem to be, well, pretty short on those. Yes, you have some options. Yes, you have, like, Dreadnoughts. And you have um, War on the Sea. You have various games. But they're mostly a few years older. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Release date to be determined. But the Kickstarter is coming pretty soon. Late fall, early winter. Again, click the link down below. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. I look forward to seeing what you guys think of that Task Force Admiral. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon for more.